All right, what's up everyone? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about something that people have seen me using in pre previous videos, but I haven't actually told anyone what it is, except for when they ask, but I haven't mentioned it in the video. And that is you may have seen me when I'm grappling, in, when I'm searching for some config file or, or script that I wanna modify, sometimes I'll run this command, se, and you'll see all this stuff uh, pop up on my screen and I will type something in, one of these script names in, and I will get to one of my scripts and I can edit that. And a lot of people have asked me what exactly this is. Long story short, the important program that I'm running here is Fuzzy Finder, or FZF, which is pretty much for all of the distributions out there. You can probably just install it. It's very simple, very small. Um, by itself, uh, you know, you might think that it, it comes out of the box as sort of a file searcher. It's really closer, if you watch my channel, you probably know about dmenu. It's really closer to dmenu, except for on the terminal. And I do use it for a couple things, including this SE. Now, what, what SE actually is, I should probably tell you, is, um, you know, I have a scripts folder where I keep all of my scripts, but the thing is... I have so many of these. I, I have no idea. Let's see how many I have. I, I honestly don't know. Um, but I have so many scripts, over a hundred, that I started sorting them into subfolders. So, and I just um, add these, uh, I add all the subfolders to scripts to my path. Um, and the thing about that is it's very convenient. It makes things less messy, but sometimes I forget where a script is. So I have this nice little fuzzy finder command that gives me, you know, really all of them, make, you know, out in the middle of no, or out in front of me so I can access them. But anyway, what, what exactly is this script? Now, by default, if you just run fuzzy finder, let's actually run it as an example. Let's go to my, um, I don't know, my documents folder. Uh, if you just run fuzzy finder by itself, it's just going to give you a list of all of the folders or all of the, the files that are in the directory you're in. And you can select one, and what that does, it doesn't open it, it doesn't do anything fancy to it, it just prints its name to standard output. Now that, of course, is the greatest thing you could possibly do, because it means you can easily write scripts that make use of this, uh, nice and simple. And of course, you can also pipe standard input into Fuzzy Finder and do whatever you want. Now, this is actually what I have in the SE... Um, function that I created. This is all it is. So let's actually run this manually so we know exactly what it's doing. So I du, I dua both the uh, scripts and configs folder. And by default, that's going to print, it's going to print all of those files out with, you know, how big they are. We don't want how big they are. So we can just say, we can just say uh, awk, awk2 to print only the second element because we don't want this first element up, up here, which is the file directory size. So that'll give you all of, you know, the files in these directories. And what we do with that is that uh, we just pipe that into Fuzzy Finder. So pipe those into Fuzzy Finder, then we can select one of them. And if you'll see what this does is once we pipe that into Fuzzy Finder, that Fuzzy Finder pipes it into Xargs, which allows you to basically read standard input and create a command with it. Specifically what I do here is I open the file with an editor. So I let's do let's actually just do this. So we'll say Xargs. Um, can't type it. The R is for if it receives no input, it doesn't run the command. That's what just an Xarg command. But if we say editor, so let's say QNDL, something like that. Okay. So now this is opened in my editor, which in this case is Vim. So everything is working nice, and that's all that this. Um, that's all that this command is. Notice I have a couple other ones for doing some other things, uh, like for example, VF, you know, if I'm in some folder and I press VF, that just takes only the files that are directly in this directory and then I can select one to open in uh, Vim or something like that. Um, so they're pretty useful. You can check out Fuzzy Finder's site for some more examples, but we might as well, let's go ahead and write one ourselves. Um, so I'm going to go to, uh, I don't know, let's see, where, where am I going to go? I'm going to go to my downloads directory. And I have a couple files in here, nothing too sensitive, so we can play around with it. Um, so let's say we want to create a, uh, well, here, here's what I'm thinking. So if you know my setup, you know that I keep this nice handy bookmark directories file that I actually generate bash aliases from, you know, an you know, the thing on the left is 
an alias to the thing on the right. And I also pipe these to some scripts if I want to, you know, if I, w I want to use my important directories for something. Like, for example, what I want to do here. Let's say I want to use Fuzzy Finder to take this file and I want to create a function that you can just run a function. Let's call it M. Run M on one of these files and it gives me a Fuzzy Finder menu where I can select where which one of these directories I want to move it to. That's say that's you know let's say what we want. Uh, so how can we do that? Now first off, uh, so this file we of course only want the second element here. So we can say awk uh, two to print this, the second element, which of course is, in this case is the um, you know all the directories here. And of course since this is a Christian channel, I don't need need you seeing all my meme folders. So I'm going to grep those out. So I'm going to say grep v and I'm going to say memes, because I actually have a lot of these, but you know, I don't need these for the alias. So I'm going to get rid of those. Um, so if I just run that, just to be clear, it's printing out, it's going to print out all of the uh, directories, of course, that aren't memes. Um, pretty simple. So I can give this the fuzzy finder, and that'll give me, you know, a list that I can select from. So now, how do I want to, you know, let's say I want to finish my script, you know, let's say I want to uh, copy a file there, how, what exactly would I do? Well, I can do, I can do it a couple ways. I could do it with Xargs again, but let's actually just say, um, well, actually, I should probably go ahead and uh, create the, oh, already open. Um, I should probably go ahead and create the alias here. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to start, uh, let's, you know, let's call, let's call the function just C, just for simplicity's sake. And um, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to copy, I'm going to have it visual, and I'm going to copy whatever um, file we give it. Let's just say the first argument. We're, we'll make it extra simple here. And we'll copy it to whatever directory I select with Fuzzy Finder. Now, I think that should work. <laughs> we're doing it, we're doing it uh, real time, guys. So let's see. So let's say copy. And then I think I had a PDF here. So we'll say uh, copy that to home. Uh, oh, yeah, there's one more thing. Oh, yeah, one, one thing about Fuzzy Finder, it's good I ran into this mistake, is I don't think that um, it has some problems with, like, tilde, so it's good to convert tilde into, like, what it actually stands for, so it doesn't actually know that it's home. So what we want to do here is we want to convert, we'll use a sed command, and we'll convert a tilde, uh, oops, that's not a tilde, we'll convert all tildes into home. Okay. So notice a couple things I've done here. If you're not a sed pro, uh, well, actually, I should probably run this and make sure it works so I can uh, make sure that I'm a sed pro. Um, okay, so what was it? C. So we'll run it on Fisher, and then we'll just have it go to home. Okay, that worked. Uh, and I'll explain that in just one second. Okay, so there it is. Um, so what I did here, if you don't know what I did here, so usually when people are using sed, they use slashes. Um, to, you know, differentiate the arguments and stuff like that. You can actually use pretty much any character. You might not know this. Everyone pretty much uses slashes. The reason I use, um, you know, the little pipe here is because I know that... Actually, I should probably just remo remove my head. Um, I know that this home variable, since it is, like, basically a, a directory location, it's going to have slashes in it. And those slashes are going to interfere, you know, if the sed command is looking at slashes. So that's why I use these... Um, you know, pipes here. So really, it's just replacing the tilde with whatever home is. So it moves to the right location, even though uh, fuzzy finder might not be as great. I, I don't know if it's a fuzzy finder problem or something else. Uh, but um, yeah. So anyway, that that's what we want. So I can do that again. Uh, let's say, let's see what else we have in here. We'll copy, um, copy another one here. We'll copy that to my LaTeX folder. Okay. And if I go, let's say I ls my LaTeX folder. Okay, and uh, there it is. Perfect. So that's pretty much how you can do some stuff with Fuzzy Finder. But, um, you know, as I said before, for those of you who use D-Menu, um, it can pretty much do anything that D-Menu does. Um, uh, now, it just really is an issue of if you want to do them in the terminal or, you know, up here or on your window in D-Menu. Um, I will say there are additional settings. I actually deliberately unset my settings for this. Um, but you can change some things around, like for example, um, actually let me just show you what this does. So if I, um, 
you know, let's say I set these settings, like the default options for Fuzzy Finder, which of course you could set by the command line, but you can also set them with, um, you know, the environment of environmental variables. If I do something like that and run, to fu run a Fuzzy Finder command, notice that it's much smaller and it's also reversed. Um, so you might prefer this kind of inter interface, you know, if, I don't know, you might like it. So check that out. Anyway, as always, just check the man for it. This is just bit, this is just raising awareness about a program. It's your responsibility to actually learn about it. But, you know, Fuzzy Finder is the kind of thing you can get a lot of juice out of. So I hope you enjoy it and I will see you guys next time.